definitely over 10 pounds. I'm not gonna lift that. Um, this is part two of the car camper. What is going on guys? Today is an awesome day. It's so beautiful out. It's 52 degrees. The wind's blowing a little bit. It's super nice out. And I actually got a call from the doctor today um, saying that I can start with my daily routines again. Um, he doesn't really want me to go back to work just because I know um, I'm more from physically active there. Um, so he said, stay away from work just a little bit longer, but I can start moving into my daily routines. I'm still kind of on this 10 pound weight limit. He said to start kind of slow and move my way up. Um, so I'm not really lifting over 10 pounds doing this uh, um, car camper here. Uh, so we're gonna get started on this again today. So um, what I like to get done with this thing is I'd actually like to get this back piece of wood painted and carpeted. Um, it's a piece of wood that we actually cut. Um, so I wanna get that painted just so I can um, block it from all the moisture and stuff. And then I wanna get it carpeted. And then up here I had the other piece that we um, just had it sitting in there and it was slanting forward. Um, I'd like to make the bracket um, for that so it can actually be supported there. Um, it's gonna be my straight line across. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got three things to do. Um, I like to, yeah, I like to get that piece of wood painted and carpeted, and then I'd also like to get the bracket going. Um, so yeah, this should be pretty easy. Hopefully it's 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, the paint should dry pretty good because it's 52 degrees, it's a little windy and the sun's out. So definitely be able to bake that paint onto the wood, um, hopefully, but you really never know. But um, yeah, uh, we're gonna get this thing started. So let's go. All right, well, I literally found the longest screwdriver I had to pry off this lid and we don't have any roll brushes. So I'm gonna have to use this stupid brush. But um, hopefully uh, this goes by quicker than I thought it would, because now I don't have a roll brush. So, all right, let's get to painting this freaking wood here. One of the old cheapy, uh, I don't know what this is, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover. Um, I don't know, I guess let's just first let's take this off. All right, well, here goes nothing. Oh God, what did I do? <laughs> Oh jeez. Never trust me to paint your house. Most of the stuff I paint gets covered up anyway. <laughs> Alright guys, so I got this top half painted and the sides done. Um, I'm just gonna let this dry and uh, I put a pretty thick coat on there. Um, I, I don't really know how to paint so I just kind of glob it on there. I don't really know what I'm doing but um, I mean, I'm not, it's going to get covered up anyway, so I don't really care. Um, but yeah, uh, we got this covered. I'm going to wait until this dries, flip it over on the back side, start painting that. And then I'm going to start working on that bracket for the front half. So, all right guys, so we just got this top coat painted and I totally forgot that we need this in there so we can fit this piece of wood in there. Um, so I guess we're going to let this dry and then... I'm just gonna clean up all this because this is like an absolute pigsty back here. I got my dog's bone back here and some wrappers and just trash. So I'm gonna get all this junk cleaned up and then hopefully by the time this is done, I can put that other wet piece of wood here to get this other piece fitted in. So uh, I'm gonna go find a vacuum and extension cord and start cleaning this puppy out. Let's get that freaking vacuum in. Finally got the back all clean. We got the carpets brushed and, and cleaned up. Um, there is still some gunk and stuff in between the seats there. I couldn't really get to that. I'm gonna go further in depth with that um, later on. But I mean, pretty much everything's clean. This is needs a little bit of clean up back here. But other than that, this part is all clean. I'm um, moving over the piece of wood that we painted for the back here. Um, it's still a little bit tacky. I can still touch it though, but it feels okay. It looks like I got a pretty thick coat on there. Um, but uh, we're gonna be able to flip that over. And uh, we got a little buddy stuck here. Little Jeffrey there. Rest in peace, buddy. You're gonna get covered up with some with some uh, carpet there. Cool news is, is I uh, painted the bottom and not the top. Tacky paint for the wind. All right, guys. So you're gonna be moving with the wood here because I got the tripod on there. But um, what I've got is I've got this level 
So what I'm gonna do is actually level you guys out. And all I'm gonna do is measure to see where I'm at for this piece. I'm gonna go with 11 and a half. So 11 and a half, let's see, I gotta make like a square bracket here. So I'm gonna do two 11 and a half pieces of two by four. And on the bottom, I'm gonna do a piece just like this. So about half inch um, piece of wood to make the bracket. Um, so it's gonna be bolted up into here, bolted up in here, and then it's gonna be running across the bottom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna have two pieces of two by four supporting it through the middle. Um, so uh, that should work. Um, I mean, it should be pretty good. I'm gonna um, measure out where I can space these at once I get the two by fours cut and uh, see, where, uh, see what type of bracket we can make. up just doing the whole brackets i'm out here on the ground i didn't record anything because it was just kind of a pain in the butt to cut and record and figure everything out but i got it all set um like you guys saw i got all four of these pieces of two by four studs in there and then all i did was i took two more screws and i nailed this platform on the bottom and then i put this one in the middle just to be a little bit more support um, it actually came together pretty good um the thing is sturdy as heck see here like it, it literally like doesn't move at all um i way overdid it but i mean i'd rather have it way overdone than underdone so um, let's get this thing in the car and see how it fits <laughs> and it slides in like a gosh dang champ Literally perfect. God, that did so good. This, the only problem is this here a little bit. It kind of sinks down, but this is kind of off. So I might have to fix that. Unless I did it too high, which I did because I did, I did it too high. God dang it. So it is kind of slanted up because I forgot about the half inch that I was putting onto the bottom for those for the supports. But I mean, it's only a half an inch. I think I'm gonna leave it. The only thing that sucks is that like right here, you can kind of you can definitely see how it how it kind of like divots down. But I mean, it fits pretty good. Um, I should probably fix it just so I know that it's flat. And now it's gonna bug me and it's not flat. Alright, second time going in. Keep sitting on the ground. Oh, we are so good. Holy guacamole. Alright, so the half an inch is cut off and we are in the bubble. Bam! The only thing that sucks is I have a gap here because of how I made these. Um, when I cut this, I made it a little bit too short, but this gap is, is completely fine. Um, it just sucks because I don't have a gap there. And what I could do is I could trim these off a little bit um, to be able to scoot it up. And uh, it should be good because I definitely got some room, so I might end up doing that. Cool, we're good. I'm getting good at this whole painting thing. This is pretty freaking fun. Guys, right, so I'm gonna start picking stuff up. Um, like you guys saw, I got that painted. Um, I've got the bottom of this paint. I just gotta flip it over and do the top side and then the sides of it. Um, I'm gonna start picking things up. I've already got the circular saw taken care of, but the sun is going down and uh, we're losing light. So I'm gonna start this project off in the morning. Alrighty guys, next morning here. Um, this paint on the other side dried actually pretty well. There's some spots where I can still kind of see some wood. I don't know if you guys can see all this right here. So I'll kind of touch that up. Um, all I gotta do is paint this top part right here and then paint um, just the edge of the back side of those pieces of wood. But it's kind of cold out, um, it's not really sunny. Um, it's about 50 degrees, um, cloudy. So hopefully this paint goes over well. I'm still gonna be using the same paint. I got actually pretty much like the perfect amount, uh, hopefully. So um, yeah, and then here's our, uh, our um, let's see here, carpet adhesive. Um, I've had this a little while. You can see I've already used it a couple times, but yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get this thing carpeted. I don't know if we'll be able to get this one carpeted today, but definitely the other one. I'm going to test fit that one in the back of the car 
and then um, hopefully get that one carpeted. Alrighty guys, so I got all the stands painted. It looks really well. The paint is drying perfectly. I didn't think that it was gonna dry this quick because of being all cloudy and pretty cold out, but um, I think from the wind and, and, uh, and just, um, I don't know, it's kind of cooler out, so I think it's just drying a little better. Um, but yeah, this is all dry. Uh, next, we're gonna get the other piece out, fit that in here to make sure that it'll fit right and I don't have it upside down and I don't carpet the wrong side. And uh, yeah, after that, um, hopefully my paint will be dry on this to where I can start carpeting this. So. All right, guys, so I had a whole bunch of different clippings that I had to do. I kind of didn't really figure out the, the whole, like, how to make it look nice until the end. So, like, here's the last pole that I had, and it actually looks pretty good, and all the seams are on the back side of it. Um, but all these other ones are on the back side as well, but it's just, I mean, I didn't really do a very good job because I really couldn't figure out how to incorporate this in with all the carpet. So as long as this, this isn't going to be seen, which is good. So um, anyway, I'm going to get this thing thrown in the car. And hopefully that's the last time this thing's got to come out too. All right, guys, I'm going to attempt to get myself in here. This is how I normally crawl in here. It's a lot easier now. All right, guys, we did it. It's in. The front plate is in. I did put a supporting bracket or like a two by four running across the top of this just so when it does flex, it doesn't flex as much. And actually there's like a little um, bump stop kind of thing underneath here that's connected to my car and it hits the two by four, which just makes it stop. Um, so it's nice. Other than that, uh, part two of the car camper build is done. Next is actually filling this thing with what we need. So like, like I said, the coolers on each side, um, I'm gonna make some kind of do it yourself. Um, like a portable battery charger, you know. Um, there's a lot of them online doing them out of those ammo boxes. So I think I'm gonna do one of that. Um, just so I can have um, some actual battery power for my phones and cameras and uh, whatever else I bring, um, laptops or whatever. Um, so I might do a bigger one just so I can power all that stuff. And I definitely wanna have a mini solar panel that I can set up on top of my car. Not one that actually bolts up there, but I can set up there or one, like set anywhere on the ground whenever it gets, uh, whenever like the sun shining and stuff. But other than that, this is done. The main part is done. I'm so excited this is done. There's so much room in here now. Like if you guys can see this, like my whole leg down here is just like all the way extended. And then I'll be able to lay down here with um, the coolers and stuff down here. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, it works really well. It's a great little cheap car camper build to get, get me out on the water or whatever and go camping in it. So other than that, stick around guys. Stay tuned. I got a whole bunch more videos coming. I got a whole bunch of fishing videos and more car camping stuff. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see because um, I don't really know what else you guys want to see other than fishing and camping. So if you guys want to see some other stuff, um, I can, I'm, I'm going to order some other stuff for fishing and stuff. So other than that, you guys, um, stay tuned for the next video. I will catch you guys later. See ya.